Have you ever wondered why it's so hard to lose belly fat? Well, my friends, it's a conundrum that has puzzled many. You see, the belly is a unique beast when it comes to fat loss. It's not just about the extra serving of fries or that skipped gym session. It's about the type of fat cells nestled in your midsection. Your body houses two types of fat. First, we've got subcutaneous fat. This is the jiggly stuff, the kind you can pinch. It's just beneath your skin all over your body. Then there's visceral fat. This is the deeper, more sinister fat that wraps around your organs. And guess what? Your belly is a prime real estate for this type of fat. Unfortunately, visceral fat is more stubborn than subcutaneous fat. It's like that party guest who overstays their welcome. And this, my dear listeners, is why belly fat is such a tough nut to crack. So, the type of fat in your belly is one of the main reasons why it's so stubborn. But that's not the whole story. Hormones also play a significant role. You see, our bodies house an intricate symphony of hormones that are responsible for a multitude of functions, including the distribution and storage of fat. Notably, hormones like cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone, and insulin, critical for regulating blood sugar levels, can significantly influence where our bodies decide to stash excess fat. When these hormone levels are high, our bodies tend to store more fat in the belly area. Now you might be wondering what causes these hormone levels to spike. Well, factors like chronic stress and a poor diet can send these hormones into overdrive making belly fat even more stubborn. So you can see it's not just about how many sit-ups you're doing or how many calories you're consuming, it's also about your internal hormonal balance. Therefore, managing your hormones is key to tackle belly fat. However, focusing only on your belly might not bring the results you want. Let's unpack that. The idea of spot reduction or losing fat in just one area is a myth. Our bodies decide where to take the fat from and in what order, and we have no control over that. So, if you're looking to trim your waistline, you should aim for overall weight loss, not just belly fat. How do we achieve this? Two words, balanced diet and regular exercise. A balanced diet is key to providing your body with the right nutrients it needs to function optimally and burn fat more efficiently. Regular exercise, on the other hand, not only burns calories, but also builds muscle which boosts metabolism and helps with weight loss. And it doesn't stop there. Mental wellness plays a crucial role too. Stress can lead to overeating and weight gain, so manage your stress levels and ensure you're getting enough sleep. Remember, a holistic approach to weight loss is the most effective way to lose that stubborn belly fat. Let's quickly summarize what we've learned today. Belly fat can be particularly stubborn due to the type of fat cells located there. These cells, known as visceral fat cells, are more resistant to the fat-burning effects of exercise and dieting, which can make them harder to lose. In addition, hormones play a significant role in how and where our bodies store fat. For instance, high levels of stress can lead to increased production of cortisol, a hormone that encourages fat storage in the belly. Moreover, it's important to understand that spot reduction, or losing fat from a specific area of the body, is a myth. To reduce belly fat, a more holistic approach that focuses on overall weight loss is essential. This includes a balanced diet and regular exercise. So if you've been struggling with belly fat, remember these points and keep going. You're doing great.